I'm very pleased to be able to speak to you at this time as we move toward our diocesan synod at the end of September. It is an exciting time, I believe, for us as a diocese as we gather in traditional territories of the Gunkin speaking people and traditional territories of the Sonyes and Esquimalt peoples at the Sonyes Wellness Centre. I believe it's appropriate for us to be gathering at the Wellness Centre because we have done a lot of work over the last couple of years within the life of the diocese to bring wellness and wholeness to the diocese. We have focused on, from the last synod, on those issues that were raised, the pain, the grief, the loss within the life of the diocese, around about parishes being disestablished and the loss of Camp Columbia. So at the regional levels, at parish levels and at a diocesan level, we have worked to bring healing and reconciliation among ourselves. I thank everybody for that work and for that leadership as we have met and we have prayed and we have anointed each other on this journey. So to meet together at this time, we focus on the future and how we continue to make the vision a reality in the life of our parishes and in the diocese as a whole. The focus on Synod will be the transforming futures, which will be a financial initiative that we believe as a diocese under the direction of Diocesan Council that we need at this time. We will be looking at raising over a five year period seven million dollars within the life of the diocese as an initiative to build upon the work that has been done in the diocese through the Vision Fund. You will hear at Synod from the Vision Fund and in a very, very good work that has been done at various levels within the diocese and outside the diocese as we've made the vision a reality for us. So I've been asked a number of times in the diocese by people saying, so Bishop, after the year of reconciliation, what are we going to focus on in the future? And it's my hope that we will focus on the part of the vision that talks about lay leadership and training. And to do that, I'm going to ask us as a diocese to put the gospel back in the center of everything that we do, to be shaped and formed by the gospel. I am asking for a season of discipleship where we will gather together as a diocese led by laity to look at creating a rule of life. A rule that will help us as Christians live our lives from Monday to Saturday. Help us to make decisions on the issues that will be facing us as a church, but also the issues that face us within society. So through prayer and study, to gather in our parishes and groups and at a diocesan level, to be shaped by the gospel in the center of our community. So there's so much more to be said about Synod, much more for us to work on when we get to Synod. My hope is that you will continue to prepare for Synod, to meet together, to talk together, to learn together as we move towards Synod at the end of this month. Looking forward to seeing you there.